Okay, hey there. This video, I'm just gonna discuss why I do these videos and how do I do it. I think the first and most obvious part of why I'm doing this is because I'm bored and I'm stuck with this physical distancing. So, as a result, I am able to still ride around. I'm by myself and I'm not near anyone. And if I am, like right now, they're blocked with a car. So, for me, I'm able to do this and I've already done all my recorded lessons for the day. And for the week. So now, instead of me just having me sit down and record, I'm able to do this, which I enjoy doing much more, being stuck in my house. And now on to, what do I use? As you can see, I have three GoPros. Uh, the one that is facing towards me is a GoPro Hero 5. And that's shooting at 1080p. The reason being is that it's four years old. And even though it can do 5K, or excuse me, 4K, it isn't able to stabilize the video. And given that it's mounted to my handlebars, I think it's kind of obvious to tell that I'm still shaking a little bit. But I feel that I'm doing you a favor because I'm in a lower fidelity, visually speaking, than the other two cameras. I got that for free because back in 2016, I bought a GoPro drone and it got recalled because it was about 15 pounds and it would just shut off at random times, so it was a major safety risk. And as an apology, I got the uh, GoPro, and that's my first one. The other two, I got because I'm stuck at where I live, and I want to do something a little bit different. And when I went to Costco, they had a really good deal and they were about a hundred bucks off each. And they came with extra batteries and extra mounts. So because of that, I got them. And I looked at uh, motorcycle vlogs in the past. And I noticed that they only use one camera. And usually it's rendering through chin. The helmet that I have doesn't really give me that luxury. Because that's where an air vent goes for me. So, instead, I bought um, an audio mount, so I'm able to strap it to the side of my helmet. That's where you see the top view. I have one camera strapped to my chest, which is when you see the speedometer. And then, like I said before, the final one is facing me. When I was looking at videos on YouTube, I noticed that there was only one, for the most part. Sometimes you'd see two. But I was looking at um, how they used to make sitcoms, and they still do it to this day. And usually you have a three camera setup. So you have an A camera, a B camera, and a C camera. And the reason why you do that is that our attention span is actually really, really low. You could check this anytime you watch a movie or TV show. For the most part, if it's a TV show, you're able to usually count every four seconds and there's a new shot. And I do this because of our attention span is so low. So my thinking was, why don't I do that? And that's what I did. I have nothing else to do. I'm kind of tired of watching TV and playing video games. So I'm going to do this instead. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I haven't been doing this for about a decade. When I was in high school, I actually got multimedia cords during my graduation because I would spend so much time making videos and I spent the majority of my electives actually doing that. And yeah, 
I decided why not do it now, given how much more free time. I already have all my lessons recorded. I'm gonna use this as a way to have you get to know a little bit more about me. In terms of audio, it's really difficult to hear me if I had just regular uh, GoPro mics. So I have a lavalier microphone that should be on my chest, but it's actually inside my helmet. And that's connected to a media rig on the GoPro on my helmet. This way I'm able to actually record audio live. And finally, what program do I use to cut all this together? Adobe and the Creative Crowds Cloud Suite has a really awesome deal for students and teachers that you are able to get their entire suite for $20 a month. And given that I teach, I actually use a lot of other Adobe products, not so much their multimedia gear, but their PDF programs. And given that I'm already paying that now, I decided why not, and I am using Premiere Pro. Yeah, it's 55 right now, dude. And that's about it, how I do it. Um, usually Premiere Pro lets you sync up audio with multiple takes. The problem that I have is that the other, uh, I have one audio mic that goes straight to my voice. And the other two are just hearing the motorcycle and the wind noise. So I have to do this syncing manually, which isn't that difficult. The only time consuming bit is that I'm shooting two cameras on 4K. So a 40 minute session is going to be anywhere between 20 and 30 gigs per camera. Thankfully for me, my laptop and my PC that I built has a PCIe SSD drive, so I'm able to upload and edit that pretty much on the fly. But I use this as a form of meditation because it takes a lot of my focus and I compile everything. That's about it. If any questions or statements that you want to mention, please post in the comments below. Stay safe and good luck.